Chia, yo, what's up, my fellow gangster homie G's out there? This is your homeboy Pippin Make Awesome Cool, and I am going to show you how you can get swag just like me, except you won't be as cool as me because I'm the coolest swagger out there, so don't even try. But try these tips. So, what all y'all lamers out there gotta do is check your clothes. Clothes is like the number one most important thing. All right, you got that? Know what I'm saying? Make sure you buy a hat worth at least $30 and wear it either sideways or back where it's dog. You got that? People will know you're a rebel if you don't wear a hat the way it was intended to. You know what I'm saying? Screw the system. Make sure you're also wearing sunglasses at all times, even if you're indoors, like me right now, even if you're sleeping, and make sure that you always have some backup pair of sunglasses, cause sunglasses can make or break the deal. You understand me? You know what I'm saying? You just don't care about the rules and wanna look awesome. Next thing you gotta do, homies, is wear some bling bling, like this sink plug chain for wearing around my neck, man. It means that I can plug people in the mouth and shut them up if I want to, dog. That's what this represents. Yeah, cause we're tough gangsters, yo. You don't go after me, you don't cross me, you get out of my way. You know what I'm saying? Cheer! Next thing you gotta do is wear a plain white shirt or a must shirt. You know what I'm saying, dog? You got that, G? That's what it means. That's why you gotta wear the stuff that can tear. And also, as for pants, Man, you gotta make them all baggy. The lower, the cooler. You got that? You know what I'm saying? Don't have them around your waist like you're supposed to. Have them down close to your knees as possible. That means you are cool, and that doesn't mean anything else. Alright, now that we got the attire down, this is where we get to the part about the language. Sure, the more cussing you do, the more swearing, which obviously means the more cooler you are, and you don't sound like a little pansy. That's what that means. However, I'm not going to be cursing in this video because it could be a little swaglets watching, and, uh, parents, and... Cheer. And when you talk, you gotta talk in shortcuts, man. Don't be going around pronouncing your R's like you're some English teacher or nothing. And don't go around pronouncing your I-N-G's, man. Change your R's to A's and your I-N-G's to N's, alright? You got that? For example, I'm cooler than y'all. You know what I'm saying? Basically, just like that, and that makes me sound like I got lots of swag and I am the coolest person in the room right now. Actually, I'm the only person in that room, which technically makes me the coolest. Yeah! Mmm! And when people are going around hating on you, just because you got more swag than them, you just have to come up with a good line to throw in their face. Like, who needs this education when you got swag? Or the simple, yet extremely effective, YOLO. That right there is the best word ever, and nothing is ever gonna get past that word, and that is the best word you can use to describe, to do basically anything you want. YOLO. My final tip for all you soon-to-be fellow gangsta homies of mine out there is the way you walk. You're thinking, the way you walk, man? Yes, the way you walk. And you want to know why? Because walking can define basically everything you do. Don't go walking around like this. Man, what is that? That's proper posture. Man, you gotta walk like this. Not only do people see how much swag and how cool you are, but they'll also see that you don't need to have proper posture when you're 30 years old. You know what I'm saying? We're too cool for that. People see you walking around town, and they'll be like, Yo, dog, that awesome, cool man got some swag. And then the other person will be like, I know, man, 
<laughs> right, that's exactly what they're gonna do when they see you walking. Nothing else. They're not gonna make fun of you. They're not gonna be doing any of that stuff. And if they do, they're just jealous, man. They're just jealous because they're not walking like that and you are for them. You're welcome. So let's review the three things I told y'all to do, alright? Number one. Wear your clothing loosely and wear some bling and have your hat on backwards and make sure you're always wearing sunglasses indoors and when you're sleeping. Number two, don't use your proper educational deep grammar when you're talking to people. Don't pronounce your R's, don't pronounce your I-N-G's, pronounce them as as and mm, you know what I'm saying? And finally, number three, walk like a G. Yeah! Anyways, I hope that I help you get more swag, but you're not gonna have nearly as much as me, dog. I got as much swag as you could possibly get and more. Because I am Pimpin' Mick Awesome Cool. That's my real name. That's not made up. Yeah, that's right. Everything I said was true, man. Every single thing I said is true. I get all the honeys. But, you know, I better go end this tutorial on swag because I gotta go to work, even though I shouldn't have to go to work, because I got too much swag for work, you know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have to go to work. Ugh. Anyways, McDonald's inbound, I guess. Yeah! Swag is frickin' stupid. Oh, I'm glad to take this stuff off.